Hello, my YouTube family. Monday once again, people, and I am I'm more tired than I normally am because I had insomnia last night. So I went to sleep at eleven. I went to I went to bed. Let's just put it that way. I went in my bed at eleven. Toss and turn, toss and turn at two. I could not take it anymore. I got up, turned my computer on just to kind of, you know, tire myself out, do something. Posted a little bit on Facebook again. Three o'clock, I said, okay, that's it. I'm just, I'm going to force myself to go back to sleep. Toss and turn, toss and turn, toss and turn. I look at my clock. It is 525, 525 in the morning. Peaks of sun already. I'm like, why do I even bother? I slept, if you could call it that, not even a cat nap, because 6.15, boom, there goes the alarm. So I am so beyond sleepy, not even so much tired, just sleepy, I just need sleep. I don't know why. Um, I don't really suffer from insomnia all that much, very rarely, but why couldn't the insomnia come on Friday night so that I could sleep on Saturday, or come on Saturday night? so I could sleep it off on Sunday. No, it has to wait until Sunday night knowing damn well that I have to wake up early on Monday to go to work. That's when it kicks in. So I'm going to try to make this a little bit quick. One package came from my birthday hauls. You know they're gonna come in little piddles, little piddles. One came today. Let's see, came in this little brown package. This one. And it is three lip glosses, but I will tell you lips of the day first. This is from a, a last haulage that I'm just now using now. See, they're going to start tumbling on top of each other, and then I'm going to forget which one I need to. I'm telling you people, at the end of this week, I'm, I'm still ordering, sort of, kind of, until Friday. I'm giving myself until Friday, and then that's it. That's it. That is it until December. Do you hear me? That's the last of haulage until December. So I'm just letting y'all know. So you can let me know. Okay? So don't even don't even let me say something like I saw a lipstick or a lip gloss on Amazon or all cosmetics. If you even remotely hear that coming out of my mouth, post not not like nasty things to me, but punish me. Punish me in words. That's all I have to say. But I'm 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 really I'm I'm serious now. I'm serious. So um lips of the day. It may not look like there's something there, but there is an ever so sheer shimmer frosty pink. It is well it comes in this box. I'll show you what it looks like all packaged up. This is Estee Lauder Pure Color Ultra Light Gloss in Sparkling Shell. And this is the package. And that's the little peekaboo window right there. So that's what it looks like all packaged up. And this is what it looks like. This is gorgeous, people. It is, it's mainly a topper, but I wanted to wear it, you know, on its own to see what it would look like on its own. And there it is. I like it. I really, really like it. And it smells like chocolate caramel. So I was just applying all day, even though even though I didn't need to. But it does fade. It's a very light lip gloss to begin with. So I had to reapply, reapply, but I had no problems with it because I loved it so much. So it's a nice, light, pinky, shimmery shade. Here it is. And I will swatch. It's an almost barely there kind of gloss. I don't even know if you're going to really see anything. Here it is. There it is. A light, shimmery, very shimmery, pinky shade. And JC, not Ms. JC, but JC, said that this kind of reminds her of a uh, Chanel Glossomer. But these are lighter. Glossomers are a lot thicker and stickier. This is very, very, very light. 
very light on your lips. So, and this is the shade again. I love it. Absolutely love it. So I wanted to start off my Monday kind of light. So this was it. Got my hair done a little bit. So that was lips of the day. And I wore it with my clear lip liner. My Avon Glimmer Stick Clear Clear Lip Liner. So there you have it. Now to start off with my goodies. I want to start off with one because I want to show you why I bought it. It is a Revlon Super Lustrous Lip Gloss. It's a very milky pink and it is called Peach Petal. Peach, pe it's peach Petal, right? Yeah, Peach Petal. Now I bought this specifically for one reason only. I was, ooh, it's getting a little warm. I was Googling, you know me in the Googles, Googling images. And um, I came across an image that had this next to this. Remember this one? Soft Nude Revlon Color Burst that I wore last week and I was not too crazy about. This apparently is a topper for this. So I am going to give this one another shot eventually down the road. And I will top this with this to see if it makes it look a little better. I saw the picture, and I think it was just, you know, basically a picture like this. They were standing next to each other. And I said, well, now, okay, maybe there's there's an, uh, a method to the madness there. So that's the real reason why I bought Peach Petal. But let me swatch Peach Petal on its own and see what it looks like. Ooh. Wow. Um, yeah, if I top it, <laughs> if I top it on top of Soft Nude, I'm going to have to be very, very careful because that's it right there. It looks like a white lip gloss, but it's an ever baby, soft baby pink. A milky, soft baby pink. God help me. God help me on that. So that is Peach Petal. Hmm. We're going to give this one. I'll wear this one on its own by itself first, test out the waters, and then we'll do the experimental thing. Next, I bought this. And why did I buy this? Because I saw it was limited edition. Amazon only had one left, and I had to have it. It's as simple as that, people. Sad. Apparently, Revlon had a limited edition Color Burst Lip Gloss called Eggnog. Looks like a nude to me. So I said, oh, and Amazon had only one left. They sell this on um, All Cosmetics Wholesale for, I think, $6.99. But Amazon had it for $5.99. So I went that route. So let us swatch Eggnog. Oh, okay, it's not as scary as it looks. It's a sheer nude. It's a sheer nude. Oh, I'm going to have fun with this. This is going to be a topper for one of my um nude lipsticks. Oh, this is harmless. This is harmless. This is eggnog right there. This is eggnog. That's peach petal right up front up there. This is eggnog. Harmless. Harmless. I can work with that. That is not a problem. Eggnog, people. Limited edition. It says new shade here, but it was a limited edition. So I had to have it. And last, because I only had three lip glosses today. Last but not least, apparently everything was Revlon. Yeah, everything was Revlon. This is another Revlon Super Lustrous Lip Gloss in Coffee Gleam. It's a shimmery, brownish, goldish brown shade. Had to have it. It just looked too beautiful to pass up. So, here it is. Oh, this is... <laughs> hey! This is going to be a My Lips But Better People. A nudish lip. And it's got a little, a touch of shimmer to it. I hope you can see it. It's right there. There it is. Coffee Gleam. 
coffee gleam with a little bit of shimmer. I think um, chestnut should line my lips with this one. Coffee gleam. Oh, it's so nice and shimmery. Look at that. That is beautiful. So that's it, people. Um, this was the order. All Revlon. Look at that. Who knew? All Revlon. Color Burst and Super Lustrous. So there you have it. There you have it. So that is um, the beginning of the haulage. So they're going to start trickling in. But I'm telling you right off the bat, like I said last week, most, if not the rest of the stuff that I ordered, everything will be in the shade of honey. But I'm, I'm, I'm slowly getting out of the honey phase. I, I can feel myself slowly getting out of it because I finally bought the lip gloss that I saw online that started the whole madness. And I ordered it from Japan, people. It was on Amazon, but Amazon had to go through Japan. So they're claiming I won't see that lip gloss until the end of July in the beginning of August. So when my haulage is finally done, we'll still have one little package coming up le left. So we shall see how that goes. Okay, people, that is that. I'm tired. I have done lips of the day. Let me know what you think. If there's even an, uh, an opinion to begin with, because it's really super sheer. It's a super sheer, shimmery, light shade. So, you know, I knew it was going to be a very light shade, so I played up my eyes a little bit, heavy on my eyeliner, which was the e.l.f. I put it away, which was the e.l.f. Um, like liquid liner, gel, gel liner in Midnight. I think it's called Midnight, yeah. And that's it, people. I am exhausted, sleepy exhausted, and I, I just need to get some sleep. I, I, I just may pass out on the couch. That's it. Just for a little nap for a couple of hours, and then maybe, or that may, that, you know, I have to probably stay up until about 10 o'clock, and then I'll just crash. So that's it, people. I love you. I love my YouTube family. It was a good day, uneventful. You know, people are still on vacation, so there's not that many people that came to work today. Cutie apparently called in sick because he apparently, this is the excuse I heard, he had sunburn from the weekend, so he couldn't make it to work today. So, Oh my goodness. Before I go, I have a story. I do have a story. So I had lunch at Wendy's today. And I'm sitting there eating my salad now. Yes, I did have a salad. But I also had some cheese fries. Anyway, anyway, um, I'm sitting there just, you know, just munching away, sipping on my Minute Maid lemon, lemonade and eating my salad and having a good time with my cheese fries, my chili cheese fries, salad and chili cheese fries. I know they don't go, people, okay? And in walks this tall, gorgeous fine thing in uniform no less he was gorgeous and I had looked up and we kind of like caught each other's eye but it didn't hold he, he just kind of looked and I looked and then I just you know but already the, the 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 you know the mechanism of my brain is working so I'm like oh sweet Jesus he is an Adonis he is gorgeous he was kind of like light skin. He could have been Puerto Rican or he could have been, you know, Latino of some sort, but he was gorgeous. So I'm eating my salad and he's ordering. He ordered and then he sits two seats away from me. And I'm like, oh, this is fantastic. This is fantastic. So I said, okay, Nancy, I am going to, I'm going to rev up the nerve. I'm going to write him a note and I'm going to give it to him. And then I'm going to book on out of here. Well, as it turns out, I did write the note. And the note said, thank you for your service. And I wrote Nancy. I didn't write my phone number or anything like that. Wrote the note. And um, we both finished eating at the same time. So he got up and then I got up. And I'm like, oh, okay. So I tore the paper out. I folded it, held it in my hand. 
he's in front of me. He's dumping his stuff in the garbage. Um, and right after he's done, he puts his tray away and he's opening the door. And he looks behind me and I go, oh yeah, hold on. And I put my, you know, I dump my garbage and everything. And I take the door and I said, thank you. And he said, you're welcome, ma'am. And walked away. There's no way in hell I'm going to hand a young, fine thing a note with my name on it after he done called me ma'am. That was it. I couldn't do it. I couldn't do it, people. I couldn't do it. Let that fine young specimen walk away. He was gorgeous. But he was young. Maybe a little too young. If he's going to call me ma'am. Now, I know that that's what they say. In the military, you know, they train them well, sir, ma'am, sir, ma'am. So I don't know if they call younger women miss. Now, if he had said miss, I would have said, oh, by the way, I have a note for you. But he doesn't call me ma'am, like his mother. So that was an opportunity that went away. But it was a fun lunch anyway. He was nice to look at. He made my lunch hour very pleasant but he calls me ma'am you want to talk about a, a a balloon that went pop as soon as he said that yeah that's what my balloon my my balloon went all to the ground ma'am pop all to the ground and on that note, people, that was my story of the day. I knew I had a story for you. That was my story of the day. I love you. I love my YouTube family. I know my eyes must must look really droopy because I, I feel them very heavy. So please forgive me. I'm sorry I'm not as bubbly and cheerful, but I did have a story for you. And I did have a little bit of haulage. So forgive me on that. It, you know, forgive me for not being bubbly, but I did, you know, I came up with stuff. And on that note, I love you, I love my YouTube family, and I will talk to you tomorrow, okay? Bye now.